Hello everybody, this is Hussein Nasser. Uh, today we're gonna complete our series in circuit analysis. Uh, in this lesson we're gonna explain the first of five network theorems we have, uh, which is the uh, superposition theorem. Superposition theorem. Superposition theorem is uh, about uh, if you have more than one source in the same circuit, okay, uh, and you have a, a, a lot of components, and somebody asks you to find this uh, a voltage uh, across one of these uh, components. So superposition states that uh, the voltage or the current across this uh, element is equal to the effect by each of these uh, sources independently across this component. So, uh, what's that mean? Let me explain. It. So, if I have the circuit. In this circuit, I have R1 and R2. For example, this is just an example. So here we have a current source, we have a voltage source. Remember, these two are dependent, uh, <coughs> independent sources. And somebody asked me to find the voltage or the current across the resistor, uh, this. This is the R1. So the superposition theorem states that the, the voltage, for example, across this element, is the effect of this source independently upon it, then uh, plus the effect of this source across this resistor too. These two effects will be summed together, uh, will be equivalent to the two sources affecting the same component, which is this one. Okay, so that's uh, the superposition. What you have to take concern in this theorem is the, uh, the direction. The direction of what? The direction of voltage, the direction of current. For example, if this, uh, if this current source is, uh, has a voltage, uh, makes a voltage across the R1 in this direction, okay, and the voltage source makes a voltage across this component in this direction, at the end, you're going to sum these two directions together, which is one uh, is up, uh, uh, opposite in the other, so one minus the other, so you, you, you have the final results. So you have to take a look about the, the, the directions of voltage, the directions of current. That's the superposition, basically. It is very, very easy. We're going to jump right to an example. Okay, so this is our question, okay? Uh, so this question here is asking to find the voltage across this component, which, is, uh, which has value of 10 ohm. So the, the, the question uh, is, is gonna be like this. Find the V, find the V in this circuit. You're gonna look, where is V? Here is V. So. This is V. I'm going to find the voltage across this component. Using what? Using superposition theorem. So what, we, what you're going to do first is uh, to rewrite the circuit. Uh, you can eliminate uh, the current source or the voltage source as you like. Uh, but let's start first with the current source. Remember, there is a rule. When you are uh, uh, <coughs> removing the current source, you're gonna leave an open circuit there. But when you're uh, removing the voltage source, you're gonna put a wire across the battery, which 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 is making a short circuit there. Okay. 
So let's remove this current source. What you're gonna do now uh, is uh, to find a method of solving this circuit. Now you have a totally com uh, co uh, different circuit here without that current source. So uh, you have to find uh, a, a way to, to, to know what's the voltage here, 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 currents, anything using uh, last uh, method we explained. For example, I'm going to solve this using mesh analysis, uh, which is assuming there is a, a loop here. There is a loop here. OK? For example, I can solve it using nodal analysis. Uh, as you like, I can solve it with any way you have. Uh, OK? So this is my first loop, so I got, I'm going to write the first equation of this loop. So it's 100 volt plus minus this current is greater than this current plus minus plus minus, okay? Good. Um, so uh, 100 volt minus I1, okay, minus 10 I1 minus I2, all of that is equal to 0, okay, then the second loop, the second loop, 2 I2 minus, because it's against, uh, plus with the sign 10 I1 minus I2, okay, minus 12 I2, all of that is equal to 0, okay? So now you have two equations, two equations. Using matrices, you can find the I1 and I2. You can find the I1 and I2. Uh, once you find the I1 and I2, you're gonna uh, find the voltage here by substituting this equation or this equation, which is 10 I1 minus I2, which is equal to the voltage here. But remember, the direction is very important. The voltage across this resistor is up. So you, you're gonna uh, uh, <coughs> record that direction uh, by side, okay? Now we move to the second source, okay? The, the current source, which is 4 ampere, but now I'm going to remove the voltage source, okay? I'm going to remove the voltage source. But remember, as you said before, when you remove the voltage source, you're going to put a short circuit across it. So I'm going to put the, this wire here. Okay, so this is the short short circuit. Okay? Great. Now, uh, solving the question, same as before, I'm going to solve it using mesh analysis. So here is my loop, I1, I2, I3, okay? Now, I1, equal to minus by 4. Okay? Now, here, R2, I put the sign plus minus. I suppose that this is uh, has greater value than this one. 
plus minus this one has greater value than this one plus minus and this one has greater value than this one which is the plus here minus here okay uh, now you're gonna write your loops down phi minus because against the loop uh, i2 minus i1 which is 4 okay uh, minus 10 i2 minus i3 equal to 0 okay so that is the first loop so now uh, the second loop which is this one here the second one uh, with the arrow look. so it's 10 i2 minus i3 against minus 2 i3 minus i1 which is 4 minus 4 now here is again so minus 12 i3 all of that is equal to 0 now you have these two equations uh, we have the relation which is i1 is equal to minus 4 up there um, now you're gonna substitute any uh, i1 variable in the t in these two equations with minus i four minus four. Uh, then you you will have two equations with two unknown, which is i2 and i3. Then you find the i2 and i3 uh, the same as before. Uh, you're gonna substitute them in this uh, this part to find the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor. Uh, with the same direction up. Uh, at the end, you're gonna sum the voltage bounded by removing the current source, leaving the voltage source with the voltage bounded by uh, keeping the current source and uh, uh, shorting the voltage source together which is in the same direction, so it's just summing, uh, then you will have the final results uh, of V affected by these two uh, sources. Okay, so this is a, a very, very basic example uh, explaining the superposition theorem. Uh, I will leave you to review the, this theorem. Uh, then we will continue in the second part with another example uh, explaining more details about this theorem. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Have a good watch.